Choice here. Thank you for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Here I want to talk about a mentality. <laughs> How do we change a mentality that is like deeply rooted? It, it's just how we think, it's how we feel, it's how we operate, it's, it's just who we, uh, it's how we behave, it's how we respond to stimuli. <laughs> Mentality is linked to your behavior, your, your habits have a lot to do with your mentality. I did a video, a couple of videos about habits. We have many type of habits, the habits in the way that we move, the habits of the way that we speak, the way that we, uh, our, hab our habitual way of responding, reacting, the way that we walk, the way that we talk, the way that we move, the way that we think and on and on and on. There are many types of habits, even the way that we eat. <laughs> we have a habitual way of the way that we wash. Your mentality. Is it a mentality? Uh, if you had to think about your mentality, is it something you choose to keep? Are you happy with your present mentality? Because your mentality is shown through your way of being, the way that you think, the way that you speak, the way that you respond, react to certain situations, your condition, your situation, your relationships, all of this has a lot to do with your mindset, with your character, with your attitude. For instance, I have I have, I know uh, a few people who, you know, they just love nice things. They love nice things. So whenever they have a few extra dollars, you know where they're going. <laughs> they are certified consumers. So the moment they get a dollar, they have to figure out how they're going to spend that dollar. How they're going to use, I'm not going to say use, because use is a word that I would say when you're using it wisely. I'm going to say spend, because I mean spend is done, it's over, it's, it's non-negotiable. You didn't, you didn't turn it, you didn't invest it, you're not going to get a return on the invested. Meant you just spent it, it's ended. Spend, end. <laughs> They're certified consumers. So the moment that they get anything, they got to find something to spend it on. I don't care if it's hair, nails done, hair done new bag on their wrist hanging on their arm you know some new clothes whatever <laughs> they need to put an end <laughs> to whatever they have in their pockets or in their bank accounts so that is a, a mentality that's a mentality and some feel that is justified some believe that we, we uh, in order to live life fully, we, we need that, you know, that type of mentality because that, that allows us to help, that helps us to express who we choose to be. But I said all of that, <laughs> I touched on all of that to ask you, how's your mentality? Is it something you desire, you choose, you desire to change? Are you happy with your present condition? Because your present condition is a direct result of your mentality, your attitude, your disposition, your mindset. You know. If you wanted to change and your desire to change, I'll go more into this in another video. Let me say this. If you find that your mentality is helping you to, uh, to do
do the things you love and live the life that you choose and it's working for you and the, and the people that are around you uh, there's an uplifting it's a mindset that empowers you and the overflow is empowering others hey you know but if you feel that you're ready to make some changes, if your mindset is looping you into a situation that you choose not to be in, and you're ready to make some changes, you might want to write out a story or, or come across some, discover some qualities that you would rather have so that you can begin to indoctrinate yourself with these new ideas of the qualities that you choose, that you prefer to have, a shift in mindset. Because remember, a lot of what we believe is coming out of our pure space, our natural way of being has been tainted by the onslaught of agendas and pushed information and stuff that is, has altered what we might normally do, what we may do uh, via our intuition, that we would do intuitively. Our intuition may have been a little blocked. A little block because you know we have we have a lot of things going in we have a lot of information that is coming into our being and sometimes it's difficult to know what's coming out of you and what's coming into you and what you believe to be a mindset that you prefer but instead the triggers have you behaving and responding to things that in a way that you would not have you, you know deliberately your reactions, your reactions have a lot to do with the triggers, the triggers that are within you, that have somehow been solidified in your way of being, if you will. So your intuitive way has been, is masked almost, like your intuition is, is, dull, is, is thumbed down, if you will. So your, your natural way of being has been infiltrated with, with stuff coming from the outside. So your mindset is just like being trained to become a consumer, to be a consumer. We were trained to become, to be consumers. We were raised to be consumers. So a lot of what we do is consume a lot of stuff. And so that's part of our mindset, is what we believe we need to be whole, because this is what we've been taught. So in order to shift some of the, the way, we may need to go in and check who we are being in order to begin shifting our disposition. And I tell you about sitting still, being still, some people call, we call meditation, and all of that, to kind of like see what you're thinking, how you're thinking, uh, observing yourself, observing how you're behaving, how you're speaking to others, what you're thinking about others, because this is the beginning of checking your mindset, of the attitude that you don't know that you have. <laughs> Other people experience it at times, but you don't really know that that's how you're being. <laughs> and some of us have beautiful, you know, dispositions. We're pretty much um, loving our disposition and our mindset, our attitudes, and the way that we deal with people and how we handle our, our relationships, you know. Uh, but some of us are unaware of what we're doing. And a lot of that has to do with the, for instance, another for instance. <laughs> I remember when they had those um, videos out where people were twerking all over the place. And you had 
grown, grown women trying to keep up with the teenagers doing the twerk. <laughs> Would they have ever thought about doing videos, twerking, had not the idea been put out there in the ether where everyone was getting that twerk? <laughs> where everyone was feeling like they were ready to try a little twerking. And I'm sure some people did. They were in the mirror doing it. They would not dare put it on video. But they were in the mirror trying to see if they could do it or not. This is how we, can, we find ourselves doing things that we would not normally do. We may dance, but we would not be down there trying to hit the floor. <laughs> but anyway. Even the conservatives <laughs> were twer twerking. <laughs> but anyway, when you're ready to change your mindset, you might have to find some qualities that you really love and begin um, putting that into practice. Because like I said first thing in the video about cells passing on information and how habits are are, are part of that and the mindset is really a part of a habit, a way of being, a habitual way of being that then just seeps out when you least expect it and it's how you come across, it's how people see you, it's how, you know, it becomes part of your character, you know, uh, it becomes part of your character and um, so I know I was all over the place. I just wanted to make a quick video. I thought about mindset, and then I thought, how does that come about? Well, it's a habit, it's a way of being that we, pass, that we continue to carry, we, 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 we have. <laughs> anyway, much love, Choice here. Thank you so much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Namaste. Thank you.